My name's Alan Hart and today I've got some dodgy plumbing and dodgy gas works. Some also shocking, shocking stuff, but in a little bit of a different way. Please excuse the bad language on this as well. Um, one of the apprentices that was with me got a little bit of a shock. Um, so yeah, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, some of these videos are also, or most of these videos, have been sent in from subscribers as well. So this is just, it's like a mismatch of all different things that you might find if you're training to be a plumber or training to be a gas engineer. And they're not really long enough to do a video on. So I just thought I'd put a big mixture or a mixture into this video. Please comment below, please like and subscribe. And let's have a look at this. Listen lads, until you think you've seen it all, have you ever seen an engineer convert overflow to inch and a quarter using a fruit shoot ball? And that is engineering at its finest. Oh, what the hell? Like a bird in here. Oh, you're a fucking bird in there. What the fuck? <laughs> Another bird on the roof, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've gone past that stage. We were doing a landlord gas safety check on that one, and it was the first time that Cully had actually removed a gas fire. So, obviously, got quite a shock there. I just thought I'd share that with you because it was just so, so funny. I am going to do a video on um, how to do a landlord check shortly. Um, and that will be included in that video as well. Um, we did have the customer's permission to film in there. It's one of my friend's house. He actually was um, he was one of my trainees, believe it or not, quite a long time ago. Um, and we were doing his gas safety check for him because he's moved away now. Um, yeah, fruit shoot. Wow. <laughs> Let's have a look at this next one. My name's Mike Mackey from Mackey Heating. I'm working today in Bramley with Alan Hart from CCH Leeds and today we've lifted a floorboard and there's something we want to show you, a couple of things. Um, they're called engineered joists. Most of you will have seen them, but for those of you that haven't, come have a look. So a normal joist is like this. It's essentially a big piece of wooden timber, um, which normally you could notch to build in regs or you could drill whilst keeping its integrity and its strength. These ones here though, these are steel engineered joists. You can also get a timber version. The timber versions are usually just a thin piece of plywood with no holes in. But the reason I brought your attention to these is, is for those that haven't seen them, obviously you can't notch them, you can't take anything out of them in terms of um, any material whatsoever, even the timber ones, um, otherwise you're losing the integrity of the joists. So all services must be run through them, through the holes, um, as opposed to typically over the top. There is something else that we found, and that's this suspect material here. Um, you can see at some point it's already been damaged, um, but that suspect material um, could potentially be asbestos. So that's something we're not gonna, uh, not gonna be disturbing today. Thank you very much for watching the video. I'm very grateful to everybody who's sending videos and pictures in and thank you for supporting this channel. Um, yeah, please, please keep sending them in. I will add my WhatsApp below so you can send, if you want to send them in, that'd be great. If you want me to use them on YouTube, then please feel free to send them in. And yeah, let's go and have a look at some more. This one just shows you a Worcester Bosch boiler. It's been piped up in speed fit, speed fit pipe. Also the gas through the wall hasn't been sleeved. So quite, quite a bad install. This one's just showing it's gas pipes not being sleeved through wall and all sorts scotch marks on the wood panelling. Come in to change the pump, which is out back there. Let's see, that's a 
different, different sort of scenario. Yes, this is shocking. Just hanging the pipes over there. I was asked to look at this job. Basically, the boiler breakdown in this establishment needs lots of hot water. So somebody was, repair, was repairing the boiler and they asked me to look at this hot water cylinder. Basically, he asked someone several years ago to install basically a direct system just in case the boiler broke because they need continuous hot water. Now the access to this loft is incredibly hard. You've got to go through a loft access above a shower through a false ceiling. Now that's the current cylinder at the minute, there's no immersion point on that, hence why I wanted something with an immersion heater to basically be a backup. So somebody put this thing in, so as a start the wiring isn't fantastic and it basically blew the fuse spur, but if you actually look at the installation, well the first star ball is the D1 is done in plastic badly. Then if you look at the state of the D2, it's fed in overflow pipe, which goes directly to these. To make it even worse, bear in mind the D2 has to increase in size over the length. It gets that bad, it goes through a stop tap and then to 15mm and out the wall. So, but the worst thing about it is to get this to work, this cylinder is low pressure, that cylinder is high pressure. To get that to work, you would have to come into the loft and work out which gate valve to shut. So basically, because the other cylinder is high pressure, you would have to open up the feed to do the hot. But that means you have to close the blow off for the existing system and you, and you have to close other feeds that are further down there. Now the biggest problem with this is, is that once the boiler is up and running again, somebody has got to gain access to do these taps. Now it would have to be an engineer because basically the ladies that work here cannot physically get in the loft. And if you leave this blow off shut, that is a ticking time bomb. So I just thought I'd show you a really bad installation where you just can't, you need to know what you're doing when you're installing these unvented cylinders. Uh, I've watched that one with Cully now. I must have watched it about 20, 30 times, to be honest. And it makes me laugh every single time. Um, it was the first time he's ever done uh, a landlord check. The first time he's ever taken a gas fire out and and he got that shock it's not something that happens very often and yeah and it, his reaction was just yeah it was just gold comedy gold really um yeah brilliant um and the fruit shoot bottle again that's been sent in from a subscriber who um who sent that in he, he also thanked me for some of the videos that i've been doing so it, it works both ways, it, you know, if you can send me your videos in and pictures in and I'll add them, I'll add them on here and yeah, and everybody can see. Um, the rest of it, the, the last one that was just the cylinder, that one, the reason I've added that one again, because I've added that previously, is the lad is going back to that job and he's going to update it. So he's going to do a video on updating it. So if you've got any questions on changing that hot water cylinder um let me know and hopefully he'll be watching this video and he'll be able to see see the questions and then hopefully be able to add that into the video i've got some exciting stuff coming in the next few weeks i'm i'm doing some training with viva training academy we're going out to some new builds and we're going to do some um we're going to show you some plumbing um first fix plumbing it's not I don't do I don't do that much plumbing uh, to be honest I only really do gas and I only really do boilers and installing boilers but um I thought it'd be useful for some trainees to see how to do first fix plumbing and work on building sites etc so 
yeah, watch watch out for that. That should be in, in should be on, on next next few weeks or so. If you've got any questions with regards to that, again, ask them below in this video, and I'll try and get them into. I'll try and tailor the videos to suit the questions that are asked. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Listen, lads, until you think you've seen it all, have you ever seen an engineer convert overflow to inch and a quarter using a fruit shoot bottle? That is engineering at its finest.